Greetings Christ Fellowship. As we enter into 2023, I wanted to give you an update and an encouragement. I know you guys have been uh, praying for opportunities to share our faith and to have a location space that we could call home. We do not have a space yet, but we are in multiple conversations, had two conversations this morning. Uh, we're also still looking for other doors to open up. Uh, so the point is to let you know that we are diligently and intentionally trying to find a space. Guys, I don't know when and I don't know where, but I do know that God has a place for us. And when it's the right time, he'll let us know when and where that is. And so in the meantime, we can continue to pray and seek him for it. On the encouragement side, uh, I'm at this little creek here and uh many moons ago i shot a video on um man how do you start a church planting endeavor and i did it from this very spot and at that point in time i had like maybe 10 people in our congregation and we have grown and we have gone through a pandemic and we have had just a tremendous tremendous um, blessing from God throughout this whole process. So what an incredible encouragement. Um, we last Sunday had a new members orientation. Multiple families were there. They wanted to get to know us better. We got to know them. Incredible blessing from God for that. Also, another incredible thing, January 29th, we're going to have another officer's nomination. Uh, the guys who are serving right now, they have been serving faithfully since before the pandemic. All those zigs and zags, all that crazy wonky stuff, uh, they carried a lot of burdens through all that. So what we wanna do is ask for you to raise up uh, a new class of officers who can help give them a, a rest. Um, just a, a great way to say well done to them. And then uh, finally, um, I just am excited about where we are and where we're headed. Um, think about how we ended uh, 2022 we were having people into our homes. We were sharing our faith. We were loving the people in our lives. And we were blessing people who we don't know. Think about the, the tremendous blessing that you were to those refugees. Those gifts upon gifts that you were giving to them, showing them the love of Christ and saying, I don't want anything in return. I just want to bless you. I'm so grateful to be part of this body, to be part of this, uh, this work of seeing Christ's kingdom grow and flourish in our communities and surrounding regions. So with that, I want to end looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 5 through 6. This is, uh, to me, this is a good capture of who we are as a church. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 5 through 6. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants, for Jesus' sake. For God who said, light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The larger context of that past is his hardship and challenges, and we've been through some hardship and challenges. But through all that, you have been the hope of the glory of Christ. You have let your light and your hope of him shine. And that is worth praising and celebrating. Guys, I love you and I'm thankful for you. I look forward to seeing you soon.